ericmovithmother.com. It is early morning for December 7, 2017. We are taking a look at Bitcoin here, moving above the 17,000 price level. Right there. And just want to show you that because there's a little bit of, in fact, not a little bit, there's a lot of discrepancy when it comes to the actual price because it depends on what exchange you are looking at. So right now it is trading at 15 thousand one hundred sixty nine give or take but if we take a look at the coinbase exchange it is showing it is trading at sixteen thousand two hundred almost a thousand point different that's a big big discrepancy something the industry is gonna have to fix because a thousand point difference in one exchange to another is typically not what we want to see in a trading instrument Compare that with the price for the Bitfinex, or not actually the Bitstamp exchange, showing it is trading at 15,359. If you take a look at the Bitfinex exchange, it is trading at 15,136. So huge discrepancies in price. If you take a look at another exchange, and I don't know how to pronounce this, I'm going to say Sexio exchange, it is trading. It's showing Bitcoin trading at 16.75. Man, that is a huge, huge discrepancy. And here we see another one. This is an exchange hit BC. No, uh, yeah, hit BC. That's the exchange. And it is trading at 15.167. That is not the reason for this video. The reason for this video is to show how we could have used the uniformity principle. This is something you're going to hear me talk about. You've heard me talk about for many years. For those of you who've been following my work over many, many years, we can see a breakout here on the hourly chart. So if you day trade this, if you trade hour to hour, you can see there's also that breakout in terms of price. The key is the RSI. Once the RSI broke out there and we see that Bitcoin has gone on to record a fantastic run, but the key for this move is it gave you other entry levels if you understand the uniformity principle because if you draw a horizontal line or what I call the uniformity line right there, anytime you bounce on this line with uniform action, you know it's a good re-entry for a recovery back to test the highs if not break above the highs. So here we tested the highs, actually went above the prior highs. We come again and test the same level here which means that this is a logical re-entry level and what happens after that is we come and test the highs actually we break above the highs and then again over the last couple of hours we've come and tested the same level the key is a uniform action so again uniform action support on the same line which also means that now you can play the bounce on an hour to hour basis once you play that bounce you're either going to test the highs or you're going to break above them so it doesn't matter what exchange you are looking at, this is the same conclusion. Here I was using Coinbase, which has a huge price discrepancy as far as the last price for Bitcoin this morning. Now one important thing I should not forget to mention is to understand how trading instruments, including the cryptocurrencies, behave, take a look at this. This is uniform action below this magic number of 69.1. All this is going to be explained with links in the description of the video. But here we see uniform activity below 69.1 back above it. Another reason why that was a short term low. Uniform activity below 69.1 and back above it. Another reason why that was a low. And again, uniform activity, uniform activity, I mean perfect, below 69.1 and back above it which is why this was another re-entry. And if I draw the line at the 69.1 level, which is right here, you can see those who are also good levels to reconsider re-entering or consider entering for continued push. Or let's put it another way, another reason to encourage those who own the stock short term or the instrument, the cryptocurrency, to continue holding it. Now, these are known principles. Those of us who've been trading for years in the stock market have known this principle. So we're just extending the same understanding of the market into the cryptocurrency space. 
Now, if we take a look at the same cryptocurrency, which is Bitcoin, and now we are taking a look using the Bitfinex exchange. I want to show you it's the same conclusion in terms of timing this short term. And again, it's back to the pr principle of uniformity. What we can do is figure out where we started moving. So this breakout here gave us that movement in price. RSI breakout. So we take this RSI breakout here. This is the key. Use that information down the road by extending this line with our uniformity horizontal line. And as we've already ascertained, anytime we move below this line and back above it with uniform action, again, remember, the key is the symmetry. Uniform action below the line back above it for that re-entry. Uniform action below the line back above it for that re-entry. So there is a uniformity principle and how you can use it for intraday, day trading, and you can also use this for all time frames as long as you observe the same strategy taking shape. Now, how are we going to suspect that we're going to be due for a major pullback on the hourly? Well, the first thing we need to be on the lookout for is improvement in prices. At some point, we're going to see a decline in the RSI strength. So that's going to be the first idea that we are running out of energy, where we're going to see continued improvement short term while prices are dec while the RSI is declining. That negative divergence is what is going to set the stage for a pullback short term. Now, don't forget that the big picture here remains that we are still looking at an instrument which is trading with the RSI on the daily above the magic number of 69.1. I've been saying this for a while. As long as the RSI is above 69.1 expect there to be pullbacks they're going to be shallow and market's going to be ultimately strong so the key is whether we are holding above 69.1 or not that's the key notice what happened once we moved back above 69.1 we have this movement day to day and once we moved above 69.1 what has happened is we've picked up amazing momentum so that's how you can understand that this move is not really something of a surprise or a shock. It is just a consequence of the technical picture. Now take a look at the weekly. We can see again the weekly went above, guess what number? 69.1 with uniform action. I've been saying uniform action, uniform action, uniform action. Once it went above 69.1 with uniform action, this was a re-entry. And the more it stays above 69.1 on the weekly, expect the weekly time frame to be sideways at worst, bullish at best. So we can see that this is the explanation for this explosive run. No surprise, it's just a ca characteristic of what happens when an instrument is trading above 69.1. Now, the killer is the monthly chart. Now you can see the monthly chart here has really exploded. But to understand the strength, Take a look at what happened here. The moment we moved above 69.1, which is this level here, we've been holding above 69.1 on the monthly. We tested it here with uniform activity, tested the 69.1 threshold we held, which is another re-entry here. The price there was in the, wow, 1500 or so. That's amazing. And since then, we've gone on to break out with the RSI breaking out. That breakout is what ignited this move here in the, let's call it 1500 price range. And we continue holding above 69.1. And as of right now, we are seeing a continued thrust. The reason why we are thrusting higher is because the RSI is breaking out again. So this is just what happens when an instrument is moving above 69.1. And yes, Forget the textbooks that tell you to sell when the RSI is above 60, is above 70. Textbooks are going to be telling you that this is oversold when the RSI is above 70. That is pretty much a wrong interpretation of the RSI, which is a measure of strength. So on the monthly, as long as Bitcoin is above 69.1, expect markets to be sideways to outright bullish. Eric Mwadith, Mwadith As always, good luck, peace and...
blessings. E-I-C-S.